Good afternoon, fellow assemblage artisans. Uh, got a little shrine thing going on here I thought you might like to hear about. Um, basically, uh, I had this clock carcass hanging around um, in the shed. I think I bought it in a charity shop for about a fiver. Didn't know what to do with it. It was in the corner of the shed. Uh, and then while I was on holiday in Crete, uh, I found a bee by the swimming pool and it was just a beautiful black bee with these ir iridescent blue wings and I thought that's just going to get blown into the pool and get sucked up into the um, the, the pool pump so I salvaged it, put it in a little box, brought it home and thought I know I'll make a bee shrine and uh, this is what we got going on here. Uh, so it's the carcass um, which is brown, I've sort of painted a layer of uh, gold paint over it and then gone over the top with this um, sort of verdigris colour that I got from uh, the Games Workshop. Uh, it's got some hearts decorating the front which you can find in any sort of charity shop. There's bracelets, rings, all sorts of things are very in at the moment, these, these plastic um, roses and they're easy to come by. Every charity shop you go in seems to have them, so you you, um, you would never problem getting those. I had a lovely um, domed glass on, which I sat on and smashed, so I had to replace that with, um, I went in a pound shop and bought one of those security cameras you can buy, uh, like a mock a security camera, and I took the glass out of that, which is actually plastic, and cut it down, and it, and it fits in there quite nicely. That was the original bezel which was gold which I've aged a little bit left out in the garden in the rain. Um, the legs were um, smaller than this um, and I tried to age them with a blowtorch and melted one of them so I had to buy some new ones on, on eBay uh, and they were a little bit high and there was a gap behind them so I put these sort of glass marbles in to uh, bling it up a little bit and fill that void. Uh, the, sh the shell I found at a car boot sale. The finials were already on the top, so that's the sort of front. Oh, and in here we've got there was a, a the, that's a belt buckle. It did have a bar across it which I cut out, uh, and I put a, a, a row of um, beads all the way around. In fact, they were already on a piece of elastic, and I just had to hook them over and sort of glue them in place, and didn't have to stick them on individually. And behind that, there's just some sort of um, silver. Uh, craft paper which has got um, sort of stars embossed on it which gives quite a good effect when the light catches it. The eye, the lenticular eye in the middle I found on the cover of um, a Ripley's Believe It or Not annual and I just cut that out, stuck that in uh, and that looks quite effective and when you turn it, I don't know if you can see, that'll show up on, on the footage but a lightning strike goes across it uh, as you move it from side to side. The sides just stuck some um, rhinestones on, red on both sides. The lion's head is the, it was originally on the clock and it had some smaller hoops in there but when I tried to weather it with a the blowtorch they, these bits just became brittle and smashed so I replaced them with these hoops that are from a pair of earrings I found in a charity shop. That was obviously the front because it was a clock, but I turned this into the front of the actual shrine. Um, I wanted to balance it a little bit, so I got a couple of small chess pieces there and aged those up a little bit. I don't really know what this is. I found it in a charity shop. I think it was originally on a, on a necklace, and I just stuck a rhinestone in there and glued that on the front. A few more roses. Can't have too many of those. Uh, that was a pair of earrings. I used one of them for uh, just to put on the top there to represent the, the, the death of the bee. Um, and I've aged up the clasps there as well, which is uh, holds the door shut. The whole, the whole thing was um, meant to be something like an artifact that had been had been pulled out of a um, um, like a fairy tale. That was the effect I was going for. Um, there isn't a fairy tale with a, a, a dead bee in it, so I sort of um, came up with a little story which I've printed on the bo bottom of this tin here. And it says, uh, the shrine for the bee that stung the horse that threw the judge who was riding to town to sign the warrant that would hang the boy who went on to save the kingdom. So this has been plucked from, um, supposedly from a... Um, 
fairy tale of my own making. Okay, I think I need to push that back a little bit so you can see it. That's it. Uh, so inside is the actual B. Let's have a look at that. I'm going to do the clasp like that and just pull that open. And there she is. I uh, painted the inside of the door gold and put a, this is like one of those um, remo removable tattoos that you can just put on your, put on your hand. Uh, I'll probably put a little coat of varnish over that just to protect it, to keep it from uh, scratching off. The inside of the shrine has been um, papered with biblical text. Um, and the bee is actually housed inside. I don't know if you've ever seen one of those oriental, like a Chinese painted egg. That was in there originally. I stripped that out and put a, glued a curtain ring in, aged the box a little bit, scratched it up a bit. Uh, put a um, sort of a pad of velvet uh, in the curtain ring. There is underneath that, that velvet, there is a, a block of um, polystyrene. I pushed a pin in, glued the pin um, onto the onto the B, uh, and now I've got these little micro um, micro LED lights there that sort of illuminate the whole thing and uh, look quite effective, I think. Um, I don't know. Should I move my phone in just so you can actually see? Sorry, I covered the camera up a little bit there. I don't know. That will focus a little bit better, and you can see the B in there. She looks pretty beautiful, and um, yeah, she didn't go in to end up in the pool pump. She ended up coming home with me, and uh, she can live forever in that um, forever in that shrine. Bless her. So that's what I've been doing with my time recently, and I hope you like it. Uh, if you do, you can leave a comment for me. Um, I don't know whether to keep it or try to sell it. Um, I don't know if it's even worth anything, but uh, I had fun making it, and uh, that, I suppose that's the main thing. Uh, good luck with your makings, uh, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.